Hello everyone. Today we are going to learn about force. Before starting, let's have a look to the chapter outline. So we will discuss about force, effects of force and types of force. After listening the term force, you have questions in your mind that what is force? So basically force is a push or pull acting on an object which tends to change its state of rest or of motion. It means that when we push or pull something, it changes the state of that object. Now, I want to grab your attention towards note. Everything which we do in our daily life is just possible because of force and we cannot imagine our life without it. So, it depicts what kind of role force play in our life. So, how boring it is to read a line and understand it. So, let's understand it with the help of images. To define force, we usually use words like push or pull and we sometimes also use twist to describe it. So, it is necessary to understand the meaning of these words to understand the definition of force. As you can see in first one, a girl is pushing a pram. So, what is a push? A push makes an object move away from the applier of force and here the girl is the applier of force. In second one, girl is pulling. So, what is pulling? A pull causes an object to move closer to the direction of a force means from where the force is applied so the object move closer to that person means to that girl in this image in third one girl is twisting the clothes so what is twisting so twisting is rotating the clothes to remove extra water or something else so this pull push or twist is known as force now let's have a look to some examples first one is cycling second is opening a door third is lifting a bag fourth is breathing in or out fifth is riding and etc so there are so many examples of the force and um, i want to tell you that all the metabolic activities are also the examples of force now i hope this topic is clear to you so let's proceed to the next topic which is effects of force so what are the effects of force so here we have basically there are six effects of force first force can change the position second force can change the state third force can change the shape fourth force can change the size fifth force can change the direction sixth force can change the speed so I will explain you them one by one and I am happy to tell you that for this topic I am going to show you some life examples which you can also try in your home. So let's start. First force can change the position. To explain effect of force I have these objects and for this topic I am going to use this object a geometry on table and I want it. What I will do, I will hold this geometry with my hand and lift it and put it on my hand. I change the position of this geometry from point A means table to point B to my hand. What it depict? It depicts that force can change the position of an object for what I have used my hands and I have exerted force on this geometry to lift it and to put it on my hand. Second, force can change the state. To explain this topic, I am going to use this ball. So, I just put it here. Now, I will push it. So, what I found, it changed its state. It start moving. Now, if I just exert force on this ball through my hands and what I found, it again changed its state. So, what it represents that force can change the state of an object means rest into motion and motion into rest with the help of force. Third, force can change the shape. Here you can see I have clay. So, it is in medium size. Now, I will break it into two. 
so you can see one is larger and another one is small and there is a quite difference in the size as I have exerted force on this clay and I will call it clay only whether it is small or it is large in size but I have changed the size by exerting by applying the force on clay. Fourth, force can change the size. For this topic, I have these two objects. So first of all, I will take this balloon and I'm going to fill it with air and apply force. As you can see, after filling it with air, it changed its size. Now I will lose it so it will emit all the air and come back to its original shape. Now I will take this rubber band. So I will stretch this rubber band with the help of force. As you can see by stretching this rubber band it changed its size. Now I will leave it and it will return to its original shape. So what it represent? It represent that force can change the size of an object. Fifth, force can change the direction. For this topic, I am going to use this shuttlecock and racket as my example. So I will hit the shuttlecock. So as you can see, the shuttlecock come towards me from this direction and consider this direction as point A. And I will hit it and it move to point B. Means in this direction. So it represents that force can change the direction of an object from point A to point B. Sixth, force can change the speed. For this topic, I have chosen the example of fan. So with the help of this regulator, I can change the speed of fan. So... I will rotate this regulator into right side. Now you can see this fan is start moving but the speed of fan is low. So I will again move this regulator into right side. Now you can see the speed of this fan is little bit faster than earlier. So what it represent? It represent that with the help of force, we can change the speed of a moving object. Now I hope these all the effects of force are clear to you. Let's start our third topic which is types of force. So basically there are two types of force. First contact force, second non-contact force. Let's take our first type and understand it. First contact force. When the force is applied by one object, has an effect on the other object in contact is called contact force. So contact force takes place only after some interaction with object on which force is exerted through another object. For example, pushing a pram, stretching a rubber band, lifting a bag, etc. Like when we stretch a rubber band, we exert force on it through our hands and our hands are interacting with rubber band and thus it is an contact force. Now let's take our second topic and understand it. Second is non-contact force. When two objects are not in physical contact with each other then the force applied is called non-contact force. Dislike contact force, it does not need any kind of interaction. It takes place from a distance. For example, when we throw any object or ball up in the air, what we found? That object automatically comes down due to gravitational force which takes place with a distance from object. I have finished my presentation. Now I hope all these three topics, force, effects of force and types of force are clear to you. So a very big thank you.